Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 4.10, Problems in Exergy. This is the first lecture in the Anayanistic Question Paper, Problems in Availability and Irreversibility. Solve no. In the lecture, liyo, we take few more problems in availability and irreversibility. The learning outcome to the lecture. At the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in exergy. Example number 7. How much of, how much of the 100 kilojoules of thermal energy at 650 Kelvin can be converted into useful work? Assume the environment to be at 25 degree Celsius. In the November 2016 question paper, we will write down the given data. Q, heat transfer equal to 100 kJ, temperature equal to 650 Kelvin, surrounding temperature 25 degree Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin. The heat converted into useful work. W maximum equal to 1 minus TO by T into Q. 1 minus 298 by 650 into 100 equal to 54.15 kJ. So, this is the answer to the problem. Example number 8. Steam at 30 bar and 350 degree Celsius is expanded in a non-flow isothermal process to a pressure of 1 bar. The temperature and pressure of the surroundings are 25 degree Celsius and 100 kPa respectively. Determine the maximum work that can be obtained from this process per kg of steam. Also find the maximum useful work. So, in the question on the May 2013 question paper, so, one more problem to write down the given data. Pressure P1 30 bar, T1 350 degree Celsius, 623 Kelvin. Pressure P2 1 bar, PO 100 kilopascal, surrounding temp pressure 100 kilopascal, surrounding temperature 25 degree Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin. This is isothermal process, temperature is constant, T1 equal to T2. So, from Steam table, pressure P1 equal to 30 bar, T1 equal to 350 degree Celsius. V1 equal to 0.09053 meter cube per kilogram. H1 equal to 3117.5 kilojoules per kilogram. Kelvin, kilojoules per kilogram. S1 equal to 6.747 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. From steam table, pressure P2 equal to 1 bar and T2 equal to 350 degree Celsius. This is isothermal process. Temperature T1 equal to T2. V2 equal to 2.870 meter cube per kilogram, H2 equal to 3175.8 kJ per kilogram, S2 equal to 8.368 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. In the moon property may volume, enthalpy, entropy. In the moon property may superheated steam. Properties of super, specific volume of superheated steam, specific volume of, specific enthalpy of superheated steam, specific entropy of superheated steam. Table number 345. Now, the maximum work for the non-flow process U1 minus U2 minus TO into S1 minus S2. U1 minus U2 equal to U1 equal to H1 minus P1 V1 minus U2 equal to H2 minus P2 V2 minus TO into S1 minus S2. So, rearrangement namnaka H1 minus H2 minus P1 V1 minus P2 V2 minus TO into S1 minus S2. Substituting all the numerical values, H1 3117.5 minus H2 3175.8 minus P1 30 bar. So, 30 into 100 kilopascal substitute pannano. 30 into 100, 3000 into 0.09053 minus P2 1 bar, 1 bar equal to 100 kilopascal. 100 into 2.871 minus 298 into S1 6.74, S2 8.368. So, if we calculate, so first term change in enthalpy minus 58.3, second term change in P1 V1 minus P2 V2 minus 15.51, then third term plus 485.144. So, the answer is 411.334 kJ per kilogram. So, the maximum work output for the process expansion process is 411.334 kJ per kilogram. Useful work or the actual work. W U equal to maximum work minus P O into V2 minus V1. So, substitute for W equal to 
411.334 minus 100 into 2.871 minus 0 0.09053 equal to 133.287 kilojoules per kilogram. That is the answer to the problem. Example number 9. At a place where the surrounding are at 1 bar 27 degrees Celsius, a closely a closed thermally insulated tank contains 2 kg of air at 2 bar 27 degrees Celsius. The air is then churned for a while by a pedal wheel connected to the external motor. If it is given that the irreversibility of the process is 100 kJ, find the final temperature and increase in availability of the air. Assume for air CV equal to 0 0.718 kJ per kg Kelvin. This is gate 1997 question So, for problem read we have to write down the given data. So, surrounding temperature, atmosphere temperature is 1 bar. Surrounding temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, which is 300 Kelvin. Mass of the air inside the container, 2 kg. Initial pressure is 2 bar. Initial temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, which is 300 Kelvin. Irreversibility for the process is 100 kJ, CV equal to 0 0.718. So, the air is then churned for a while using the pedal wheel. So, in the pedal wheel, we use it to stir. We are stirring the air so that the properties are changing. The irreversibility of non-flow process, i.e. equal to TO into delta S system plus delta S surrounding. So, delta, so this is insulated tank. So, for the insulated tanks, delta S surrounding equal to 0. So, i equal to 100, TO equal to 300, delta S system, so surrounding equal to 0. So, delta S system, it is the unknown. So, delta S system equal to 100 divided by 300 equal to 1 by 3. So, change in entropy of the system equal to 1 by 3. Now, the change in entropy of constant volume process. So, the container is constant volume process. Delta S system equal to MCV into logarithmic of T2 by T1. So, delta S system equal to 1 by 3. M equal to 2 kilograms. CV equal to 0 0.718 logarithmic of T2 by 300. So, in the equation solve pannaka, final temperature equal to 378 Kelvin. Then, increase in availability of air. A2 minus A1 equal to u2 minus u1 plus po into v2 minus u1 minus to into s2 minus s1. So, here v2 minus u1, it is a constant volume device. So, v2 minus u1 equal to 0. So, mc, mcv into t2 minus t1 minus to into s2 minus s1. So, substitute for 2 into 0 0.718 into 378 minus 300 minus 300 into 1 by 3 equal to 12 kilojoules. So, increase in availability equal to 12 kilojoules. Final temperature equal to 378 Kelvin. Example number 10. A heat engine receives 800 kJ of heat from a reservoir at 1000 Kelvin and reject 400 kJ at 400 Kelvin. If the surrounding is at 300 Kelvin, calculate the first and second law efficiency of the heat engine. So, in the question of the May 2016 question, so write down the given data. Heat supply is equal to 800 kJ. Initial temperature 1000 Kelvin, heat rejected 400 kJ, temperature T2 400 Kelvin and the surrounding temperature 300 Kelvin. First, Carnot efficiency of the heat engine cycle. Heat as E equal to 1 minus T2 by T1. So, 1 minus 400 by 600 equal to 0 0.6 which is 60 percentage. First law efficiency of the heat engine cycle. First law efficiency equal to net to work done divided by the heat supply. Net to work done equal to net to heat transfer. So, Q1 minus Q2 divided by Q1. So, 800 minus 400 divided by 800 equal to 0 0.5, which is 50 percent. Then, second law efficiency from the definition, second law efficiency eta equal to first law efficiency divided by the Carnot efficiency. So, 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.6 equal to 0 0.83, 83 percentage. So, these are all the answers to the problems. Second law efficiency is 83 percent, first law efficiency is 50 percent. So, these are all the answers to the problem. So, we stop here. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, in the WhatsApp number message. I will answer to the questions. So, we will meet again in, a next, in the next video lecture in thermodynamics. Until then, bye.